This is another sign of the times, an analysis, and a commentary. The content of this video is used for educational purposes. 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 9 The Lord knows how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to reserve the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness and despise government. Presumptuous are they, self-willed, they are not afraid to speak evil of dignities. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accusation against them before the Lord. But these, as natural brute beasts, made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not, and shall utterly perish in their own corruption, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to riot in the daytime. Spots they are, and blemishes, sporting themselves with their own deceivings, while they feast with you, having eyes full of adultery, and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls, a heart they have exercised with covetous practices, cursed children, which have forsaken the right way, and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam, the son of Beor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness, but was rebuked for his inequity. The dumb ass, speaking with a man's voice, forbade the madness of the prophet. These are whales without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. But when they speak great swelling words of vanity, they allure through the lusts of the flesh, through much wantonness. Those that were clean escape from them who live in error. While they promise them liberty, they themselves are the servants of corruption, for whom a man is overcome, of the same is he brought in bondage. For if, after they have escaped the pollutions of the world, through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein, and overcome, the latter end is worse with them than the beginning. For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness, then, after they have known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them, according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the sow that was washed to her wallowing in the mud. You know, at some point in life, on any issue that's out there, people do have a breaking point. And for the folks at Fox News, this week may have actually been their breaking point. On Thursday evening, Fox News host Neil Cavuto decided to devote more than four minutes of his show to exposing the very, very, very long list of Donald Trump's lies. Take a look at how Cavuto torches Donald Trump while at the same time trying to act like he's really not torching Donald Trump, even though he is. Take a look. So let me be clear, Mr. President, how can you drain the swamp if you're the one who keeps muddying the waters? You didn't know about that $130,000 payment to a porn star until you did. Said you knew nothing about how your former lawyer, Michael Cohen, handled this until acknowledging today you were the guy behind the retainer payment that took care of this. You insist that money from the campaign or campaign contributions played no role in this transaction. Of that, you're sure. Thing is, not even 24 hours ago, sir, you couldn't recall any of this, and you seem very sure. Now, I'm not saying you're a liar, you're president, you're busy. I'm just having a devil of a time figuring out which news is fake. Let's just say your own words on lots of stuff give me, shall I say, lots of pause. Like the time you said the Russians didn't interfere in the 2016 election until a lot of Republicans had to remind you they did. Came back months later and you said, 
Well, I never said that Russia didn't meddle in the election when, in fact, you had a lot. Now, none of this makes me a never-Trumper, just always confused. Like when you claimed your tax plan was the biggest in U.S. history, when it wasn't, or that the bill you signed to make it all happen would cost you a fortune when it turns out it is going to help make you a bigger fortune, or that your job approval numbers really aren't that bad uh, relative to other presidents at this stage, when they're actually worse than most presidents at this stage. That can change, but what's weird is this pattern does not. Like the time that you said rumors of Rex Tillerson's departure at the State Department were false until they weren't, or that your former chief of staff, Reince Priebus, wasn't going anywhere until he was, or your economic advisor, Gary Cohn, was doing a great job until he wasn't, when you absolutely loved Steve Bannon until you didn't, swore by Jeff Sessions until you started swearing at Jeff Sessions, had your legal team locked in place until it wasn't, denied reports you were ever thinking about firing Robert Mueller, even as you now threaten getting involved at the Justice Department. Now, none of this makes you evil, but I'm sure you can understand why even your friends say these inconsistencies don't make you look good. And keep in mind, that was only about half of that entire segment. Cavuto went on to talk about all of the things that Donald Trump has lied about and presenting it in such a way that shows that we really cannot trust the president. That is what Neil Cavuto was trying to get out without having to actually say those words. Because as he said in the clip, you saw, you know, he's not a never Trumper. He's not saying that you're a horrible person, but everything that you do kind of points to those things, Mr. President. As Cavuto himself said, this isn't a good look for you, especially when the midterms are creeping up right around the corner and literally at this point, every week gets worse and worse for Donald Trump. And let's keep in mind though, these are tragedies and mistakes and horrible things happening of his own design because the Republican party refused to really vet him before they let him come in and join their Republican primaries. Had they known about all of the horrible stuff this man has in his past, how stupid he was going to be if he ever won the presidency, they probably would have had reservations about letting him on that very first debate stage where he kind of stole the show and then became the front runner from that point forward. Cavuto is, and I almost hate to say these words here, absolutely right about what's happening to Donald Trump. You can't drain the swamp when you yourself are the one creating it. Yes, Donald Trump is the swamp. And all these are more signs.